we gonna jump straight in and talk about this because I'm gonna let them introduce themselves because it's homecoming season. So I had to bring me a, a big Q dog and a you know a a noop up in here. That's what y'all call noops and Q dog. <laughs> See, I ain't go to college, so you know I had to bring this on because y'all like low key gang members for real. In a sense. In a sense. Yeah. So introduce yourself. Tell them who you is. King Nico. Uh, good fella business for four or six. You already know. Uh, Funky time in the building. Yeah. Come on now, Mike. Earthquake. Omega South 5, Spring 12. Spring 12? What's that mean? That's, that's like your... That's my cross. Oh, that's your game. That's yeah, your name. You, you got to put, <laughs> put down in your game. Okay, okay, okay. See, so I'm going to jump right into it because, you know, I wanted to go to college, but it just wasn't for me. You know, college ain't for everybody, yeah, but I look at it like, man, I know y'all had a bunch of fun going to college, especially by y'all being a part of fraternity. That's like a brotherhood, right? It's a brotherhood. It's a brotherhood. Like, you still in contact with your brother, Ryan, brothers and all that? Like, y'all, the people that you, you cross with? Every day. You too? Mm-hmm. Okay, what's up? I'm about to get off my live where we can get, I can't get them all the tea because they want to sit on here and listen to everything. And think, no, you got to go watch it on YouTube. Bye. <laughs> now y'all get up off y'all live, man. They can't see this. They can't see this. So, you know, we gave them a little bit of the live. Now we about to jump straight in. Hey, look, so going to college, man, I got a couple questions I want to ask about going to college because, you know, y'all my little brothers and I live through y'all in so many ways. Like, we just went to TSU homecoming. Hey, we had yo. 10 out there. It went crazy. And I was just, you know, I caught myself daydreaming a couple of times because I was like, damn, like, I wonder how this would have been if I actually went to college. And then I'd be thinking about what would I be and would I have been a cute dog or would I have been a... Kappa, like what would I, I think I would have been a Kappa because I'm a ladies man, you know. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas right there, they strong and they and then they be they be burning they self and shit. I can't burn myself to be in the day. You got that? Oh, hell no, dude. You got to burn like that too? I ain't got four, I got one. Y'all be burn, oh, y'all got to burn y'all self too? Yeah, but honestly, we ain't, they shit mandatory. We ain't mandatory. Oh yeah, I ain't doing no burning myself. It ain't really mandatory, but shit, yeah, 90, 95% of them you gonna get. So this is the question I wanna ask both of y'all. Because right now, I just wanna know like what made you when you decided you were going to college, you picked your college out, um, what made you become what you are? Like, I'm gonna start off with you, Mike. Uh really growing up, all my male figures influencers, people that I looked up to, all the guys I looked up to was Omegas. Okay. So I kind of already had it in my mind which direction I was going to go towards when mm -hmm. I got to college. And then getting there, seeing them, experiencing it, being around them, studying what they live for, stand for, I was like, oh yeah. This way you got to be. Yeah. What about you, brother? See, me, it was like as soon as I got on TSU, the president, he was a new, the person who was over student housing, uh, he was a noob. The vice president, he was a noob. The athletic director, he was a noob. It was just all of them was in charge. So yeah. it just felt like the boss way and all the all the women was flossing on them. Yeah. Running towards them. So yeah. I'm like, okay. Like these the niggas yeah. have emotion. Yeah, these yeah, ones yeah, got yeah, emotion yeah, for yeah. real. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. So when you when you first like get into it, like, what you do, like, you, like, they got registration, like, y'all got to tell me, because I'm, like, pretty, for real, I don't know about this, so, like, how they go? See it. You, you get a little... Is it like Stomp the Yard? <laughs> nah, it ain't like Stomp the Yard. Yeah. It ain't like Stomp the Yard. It ain't like Stomp the Yard. a couple of little points, but it ain't really none of, none of that. It's no. a TV show. Like, like, what what is it then? So, yeah. like, you, in order, like, when you first get to campus as a freshman, all Greeks have like a little Greek day or a little orientation. Orientation. Oh, shit. so they got like so, a, like come join me yeah, party type so shit. So you able to go and look at, check out, you know, experience mm -hmm. other organizations and shit, and try to see like who is this, what it is. But I, honestly, it be all bullshit. <laughs> really, like it's really like Greek week. Yeah, Greek week is like some shit where they get all the freshmen, sophomores that's interested, looking to join. You go introduce yourself to them. They made we shit. 
When I was a freshman, they, they wasn't like fucking. They, 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 ain't, they ain't gonna fuck with you. Exactly. They gonna, they gonna look at you. They gonna shake your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they gonna be focused on the bitches. Just, just be honest. They gonna be focused on the hoes. And then maybe like the first semester, they ain't gonna fuck with you. Next semester, they gonna hit you up. Hey, we remember you from the little Greek week, whatever. What yeah, you, you what you want? To, you still yeah. trying to do that? Then after that, it's just the sky's the limit. Okay, so when y'all freshmen, it's like they, they don't let y'all join or something? Nah, you it have depends. to have a certain, uh, certain amount of credits and GPA. Now, oh. if you come out of high school with like dual credits, shit like that, yeah. then it'll you, be good but, to oh, cross okay. in the spring. Oh, okay. I ain't even know it was that serious. Mm -hmm. So you got to have good grades, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to have a GPA okay. and a uh, amount of credits. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I want y'all to tell me some stories like, man, like, so freshman year, how was freshman year? Y'all feel like y'all freshman year was cool, or y'all y'all time like it changed when y'all actually crossed and joined the fraternity? Man, Man I, that's the thing. When you as a <laughs> freshman, bro, you already feel like shit. This whole lit. Yeah, cause you but new you to know, it. Yeah, yeah, but shit. Once you cross over, shit, it's a whole different lit. You yeah. like God. Yeah, you have to get better. yeah, cause like your freshman year college. Don't get me wrong. If you you gonna you gonna be who you gonna be. If you gonna be lit, you gonna be lit. You gonna be out there. Yeah, but real. once you cross, oh, it's, it's people over. from other schools. It ain't just your school. You, no forgot, more. you, yeah. you lit everywhere. Yeah. You go to school with that jacket, that uh little logo, whatever. They own you, bro. Like right on rights. I'm telling you, they own yeah. you. That's what's up, man. So look, let me say this. So if you was to have to give anybody advice on fraternities and um, going to school, what would you tell them? Like, what would you tell them to do to make sure they do? Something that you feel like you didn't do that you could have done different in going to school. It could be the partying, it could be a girlfriend, it could be like the choice of college. Like, what if you, if either one of y'all could replay y'all college years what would you have done different? I'm going to say, make sure you choose the right degree. Don't just go to college and choose something because it's easy. Choose something that you would really want to do that you see yourself doing the next 10, 15 years. Okay. Don't even look the five, six, think about 10 to 15 years. Yeah. Because you'll get to 24, 25, and you'll backtrack. You'll be like, damn, I ain't even using this damn degree. Yeah. I done went right to now. school. <laughs> I done went to all them classes for no reason, but wasted time. Yeah, wasted time. Long, and I could have, could have uh, did something else that I see that I know I can do now. Yeah. So that's the only advice I can give. Yes, about the same. Good advice. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. So for all the kids that's watching this, that's on the way to college, I need y'all to, you know, take heed in that. Uh, these guys, they basically said that, you know, before you just jump into something just to go, to say, oh, I'm trying to get out of mama house. Make sure you know that this is something that you have passion in that you can actually do and see yourself doing for the rest of your life. Because, you know, you waste four or five years of your life and nothing pay off up out of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. damn, like I just gonna keep coming. I know I know so many people right now with degrees that don't use their degrees. Yeah, me. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> That's crazy. Dude, I got my oh, master in criminal justice, nigga. You got a party with you. And who? Criminal justice. Got you mind supposed to be in law? Shit. You had in a business, though. Well, yeah, you had You had in a business. Well, corporate-wise, but... Uh, corporate-wise, corporate-wise ain't where it's at, though. I know. Though, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> see, my, my thoughts of college, I always felt like if you wasn't an athlete and you wasn't looking to go to the league, like, it was points, like... I didn't met so many people who wasted their time going to college. College is really set up for you to go work for somebody for the rest of your life, to be a slave. That's true. Well, see. But I can say this. I'm listening. If you from a small city, small town, like where I'm from, Fort Worth, we ain't got that many people. We don't, niggas don't even care about college. But once you go to a college like TSU or somewhere in a big city, mm -hmm. it help you grow up. It help you learn how to fend for yourself even more without relying on your friends. You got to make new friends. You yeah. got to make new family members. A new chapter you in gotta, life. Yeah, you got to do everything yourself. Like, whenever shit fucked up, you can't 
call on mom and daddy because they, yeah. they can't get on that road and come save you. Yeah. You got to do it yourself. You got to figure it out. Yeah. You see, it was the difference for me in my era was, like you say, a lot of people wasn't looking if you didn't play sports to go to college. I went because at that time, black people wasn't really graduating. Like We had just started doing the yes, graduating uh, yes. college shit. Uh -huh. So I'm like, shit, I'm about to be the first nigga in my family to go to college. Yeah. Like, I'm going to do that. I got to go ahead and thug it out. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So that's that's cool. That's actually cool. But at the end of the day, you know, we all, all going to have our different views on it. Uh, but right now, I want to take a moment for us to take a shot. Come on, let's take a shot. We're going we gonna to get us a shot. We're going to get us a shot. Let's go. On. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. Shot o'clock. <laughs> Because now, this is when the show is about to get interesting. <laughs> you know, I gotta talk about education and all. <laughs> but <laughs> now, it's time. It's time. Dark side. Right into Light the this bullshit. bitch up. So, this is what we go with. Yeah, we gotta get right into it, bro. We gotta get right into it, man. You know, come on, let's one time, let's take this. Let's go, let's go up one time, one time, one time. More success, generational wealth. Let's go up. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so let's get right into the T of college now. So when you go to, when you first went to college, was you staying in the dorms? Yeah. I mean, my first semester I was, then I moved to a townhouse. Yeah, okay. That's okay. Exact same. So, us. so that first semester when you were standing in that dorm, how was that dorm set up? Did you have like somebody living in there with you? Hey, yeah, yeah. We had like a. We, I was an athlete, so you had all the athletes stayed in the same dorm. Were y'all allowed to have girls yeah. to come through the dorm? Mm -hmm. It was COVID. Did, did y'all have the athletes? Black, so, black. so I'm saying, so like a girl can come in your room and stay with you tonight? She wasn't supposed to stay. No, no, I'm saying, can she? Stay? Oh, yeah. No, she wasn't supposed to stay. Mm -hmm. So that means she's not supposed to stay. We got a visitation. See, say, see look. Yeah. My, see, my, so what time did they have to leave? In my dorm, it, it wasn't. We just knew that they didn't want us. Next door to my dorm was the girls' basketball team. I understand all that. Stop trying to no, try to make saying, it right. No, they, it was. It's not they, right for you to have. You're not fucking. supposed to be in there fucking. No. So was you in there fucking? <laughs> yes. Was in there fucking? What your roommate was doing? Why you was fucking? We had private rooms. Oh, so room yeah, oh, okay, okay. It was like an apartment. Oh, so you y'all stayed in the one where it was like you walk in the living room and then it's four doors. Yeah. Okay. Me? It was apartment. Nah, we had to share one room and we had like these movable closets that we had to put up <laughs> to make it like a separate room, like this one room, this one room. Like our room, we didn't even have no stove, no microwave, no nothing. We had to bring all that. Oh, so that was like the community dorm. Yeah, we were like community oh, yeah. dorm. See, we had so that's why I had to get up out of there. Oh, so you wasn't really doing no fucking your first week. No, 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 I was acting. You was acting? I was acting. Was acting. For was sure. Acting. <laughs> I was acting, but shit, it was a time, nigga, if we wanted a female to stay over, we had to dress up like a, a nigga. Put the make her put on some baggy clothes, a, a hoodie, hat, a hoodie. She and there's gonna be four, five of us. We're gonna go help a nigga go get his guy up there. And then she done. For real? Yeah, until it's time to check out the next morning. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. And what it what what so how how could you get caught though? The only way you get caught is when they do room checks, but Damn, they do so, room checks. But you so you so it was so it was so cool because if you cool with your RA. He gonna tell you when he doing a room check, oh. so you don't get caught up. So let me ask you this: Did you ever experience anything like getting caught up, like with the room check or anything like that? I did one time, yeah. but all he did was all he did was came in that motherfucker, shook his head, started laughing. He was like, "Bro, make sure she out uh, by 10. I was like, "Cool, ten a.m. Cool, she gonna be out of there. She got class anyway. Yeah, man. see, we got so caught because my damn roommate hated on us. Roommate told me. He was mad, talking about we was loud all night. He called it down to the office and talking about, oh, they having a party up here. They oh, sent the security yeah. up there. We had bitches in there. They like, oh man, they gotta go. <laughs> oh yeah, he a hoe. Wow, I ain't gonna lie, man. That's the part of college I would wish I would have been. But I feel like if I would have went to school, I would have been the man's. See what I'm saying? I would have been. You was playing sports too. Yeah, I was so it, it's a it's a different like. It's a difference between just going to college and turning up and, and being, being an athlete mm -hmm. and lit. Yeah. And in the front. Yeah. 
it, it, it turns all the way around. So, so let me ask you this. Let's ask you a real question. A real question. So, you being a part of frat fraternity, right? Mm-hmm. Them your brother? Yeah. Did you ever come to a situation where you wanted one of your brother's women? Yeah. Did you do it? Once I found out he was there. Mm-hmm. But how? See, I don't see that part. Is, that, if you ain't, if you ain't can locked you get up, a job? if you ain't, oh hell no. Nah. We got a rule. Y'all ain't had no. I know y'all got them paddles. Like they went whooping your ass for doing shit like. That. See, cause me. We got a rule. <laughs> What's your rule? Our rule is, nigga, you get one, and that one better be your wife. If it ain't your wife, then That's she the free. You got she the free. Yeah. Everybody else good. Everybody, Everybody else, else green. Good. Everybody else green. You can't get mad. It's up to her. But I ain't gonna lie though. Uh, most of the niggas I done met that went to college be soft behind them hoes. Yeah. I done had one I was talking about. Everybody had one. Everybody had a couple yeah, of everybody had I, ain't one. Say, I ain't gonna even say one. <laughs> a nigga didn't have a couple of shots, but shy as your chin. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, niggas be soft. You ain't tripping. But back on subject, you know what I'm saying? So look though, let me say, let me ask you a question. So it was never like a situation where you feel like this ain't my homeboy from the world. Like, I don't really, like, I met him through some fraternity shit. Like, nigga, I hit that nigga bitch. Yeah, that's all way. That nigga did it to me, so I had to back door and do it to him. Oh, you hit a nigga bitch? Oh, yeah. He took my, he hit mine first, though. So that's what made Damn, me. he hit yours? You was, you was sad. Took. That was one of my up. top bitches. <laughs> oh, good. She fed me, did my, fed me, did my homework, came off that bread. I found out he was hitting. I said, oh. See, that's how I would be if it's I went to college. To I would have definitely had, I would have had a woman for everything. I would have yeah. had a woman to do my work. I would have had a woman to do my groceries. First of all, I would have never stayed on campus. I would have always had a spot right by the campus. Well, it was but they make you, they yeah, make you first semester. Your first semester. Oh, your first semester. Your first your first semester. semester. Damn, I was that's in every college? Yeah. Pretty much, damn near. Like so I they want you to get so the real vibe of it. Team. Mm. But after that second semester, when they start being able to pay us, had to get up out of there. Got up out of there. Quick. Yeah, we should do, boy. <laughs> it went crazy the second semester. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. So did, you, did either one of y'all have a girlfriend in college? Like yeah. a real girlfriend? I did. You had a girlfriend? I went to college. We went y'all from niggas high school. soft than a motherfucker. So you went to, you, you telling me you went from high school to a whole new environment of women and you had a not girlfriend? First, not, not first. He said he went yes. from high school with his girlfriend. Oh, no, nah, yes. I ain't do that. I ain't do that. Yep. Sweet. That's what <laughs> I knew what time it was. That nigga sweet. Yeah, <laughs> that nigga. How long did that last? Did she go to college with you? No, nah, she was in college down here. Where you went to college at? Magnese, Lake Charles. So you was in Lake Charles and she was out here and y'all were still together? Yeah. At two different colleges? She was out here. Was, was you faithful? For the most part. Do you think she was faithful? For the most part. Uh, for this the most nigga's part. sweet. <laughs> he tripping. Hey, you oh, tripping. Wait, so you telling me y'all was hours away from each other in different cities, teenagers, at college, and you felt like your woman was faithful to you? You used to talk to her? FaceTime, was FaceTime out there? Yeah. You used to FaceTime her every day? Yeah, every night. Every night. Every night. Go to sleep with her. Crazy. Night. You know what she used to do? Right. She used to FaceTime that nigga Put that right after mute. she got off the phone, slide that oh. dick in her mouth. Oh. Shout out to his ex. Man. man y'all niggas be thinking, man, man. This, I Come don't on. so Let's you see. believe in long distance relationships? Not no more. And when it when that ended, that shit was over with. I knew it wasn't gonna never happen again. How y'all end up breaking up? I got caught. You got caught, she? Got caught. How you get caught? How you get caught long distance? Oh, t- so like you say, going into college, I went in with a relationship. I ended up becoming a star football player and in a fraternity. So bitches was just flocking. I sl- slipped up and got caught. But I'm saying, how do you get caught though? So are you trying to be? I are you trying caught, to be reserved right now because she might be watching this? No, nah, she gonna watch it for sure. The way I got caught, but it's cool. We already talked about it. She I want to bring her on the interview. Her the way I, I got caught was call. so she every weekend my girl came to the game. Mm-hmm. Just so happened, this is a weekend we was arguing, and I didn't think she was gonna, gonna come. come. And she still so came. So I told the little side hoe, "Oh, you can wear my jersey and shit. You can bring my little bag." And she would, and then my girl popped up. 
With the same thing. And with the sword. And went and confronted and shit. Why you so got when I'm five, walking on, when I'm walking out after the game, I'm going to the field house. I see both of them standing right there. What you do? Instantly, hard drive. I try to, I try to speed to the field. House. I'm trying to go inside. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm nervous. I'm what scared. You got you nervous, man. Bro, I'm never expecting them to even cross paths. But what are you getting nervous for? At that time, nigga, I was that was. All right, my now dad. Pa- let me pause mm-hmm. you. Let me pause you. You walking up to the field house right now, yeah. And your girl and the chick that you fucking on, they sitting there right there at the field house waiting <laughs> on you. What are you doing? Be honest. Shit, I ain't got no choice but to go face the fire, bro. It's already they already know. But let me ask you a question: Who's the fire? Or you the fire, or you the fire, or she the fire? You I'm the prize. They're the fire. I'm a star athlete, so I'm the prize. Yeah, but see, yeah. you didn't just have that energy. I know so that. Remember, this is being recorded. I know so your energy just changed because the way no, I'm no, talking. No, 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 because you said, it. yeah, yeah, right. because you weren't the fire. You said you got to face point, the fire. Yeah, you yeah. gonna go, you nigga. Oh, hey, hey, hold on, let's show the fire. You know. You should know. She, you should know. Man, who listen, let me tell you something. Was crazy, nigga. I wouldn't try to deal with that. No. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You should Let me tell you something. First of all, give you some game. So me, I just came off three touchdowns, two 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 fumble recoveries. <laughs> I'm playing both ways. Shout out to the little nigga Hunter, Colorado. Yeah. I'm playing both ways. Right. I'm walking up to the field house. I see them sitting right there. Instantly turning it on to the fire. Because the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm not trying to walk past them. I'm walking straight to them. I'm going to say, what are y'all doing? They're going to be like, they're going to be so shocked that I'm coming at them like that. They whole energy is going to change. They're going to try to explain yeah, themselves. Yeah, yeah. They're going to try to explain <laughs> themselves. I'm going to be like, so, so you telling me you just went up to her randomly and asked her why she got my jersey on? Why can't she be a fan? Yeah, that's now. And why would you even hold the conversation with her in the first place? Y'all both tripping. Matter of fact, both of y'all can leave. And I'm walking in the field house. <laughs> and I'm going to the party after. Because then y'all have parties and shit after. Yeah, I'm being there. Ho- <laughs> I'm going to go get me some. I'm going to go get me some. Yeah, my night is going to be good. And I'm going to make it believe. I'm going to make <laughs> myself believe in my head. That, you that I'm right and they wrong. You got to though. Yes. See, that's the problem with you young <laughs> whiffle snappers. Y'all got to remember, Man. you is the prize. You are the prize. I had to learn that. Oh, it took time? Yeah, it took time. Oh, no, yeah, See, I ain't going to lie. Me, myself, I, I knew I was the prize since the monkey bars. You know why? Because when I came to school, elementary school, I was the only nigga who, who had candy. Yeah, them niggas couldn't have no candy. I had that candy. So when we would go to the playground recess, all the girls would come to the monkey boys. See, all, all the, the boys, they went over there by the basketball goals, and they was on by the sliding and the uh, swing. I went to the monkey boys. You know why I went to the monkey boys? Because that was my motherfucking spot. And I knew if I created my separation, I had this candy. No, I was coming. They coming. <laughs> they coming. I got the candy. <laughs> I'm the only nigga with the now laters. Yeah. The Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. I'm for real. I'm I'm stopping by the candy lady before I come to this. I'm loaded. Yeah. I already know what I mean. Yeah, and then look, when I seen one, just say I had a girlfriend, like for real, for real. I had like four girlfriends. And when I want a new girlfriend, they know what's the new girlfriend because she got the better selection of candy. Yeah, I made sure everybody got some candy, though. <laughs> but the girlfriend got the better candy. candy. So, look, I might give all them a Jolly Rancher right. and give her a whole pack of now ladies. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah, give her a whole pack of them drugs and tell her go break bread with her crew. All right, baby, yeah, I don't like your two friends. You know, they kind of big. But, hey, break bread with the crew. You know what I'm saying? That's So, I realized I was the prize at a young age. Like, and that's what... I need, you know, you figured it out now. Mm-hmm. You got it figured out now, too? Yeah. You know that. So. For shit, so. <laughs> you sh- for sure, you got um, it. For shit, so. You know you got it. Oh, yeah. All right. So, 
Now y'all saying y'all know y'all the prize. Right now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to pick up your phone. Nico, pick up your phone. Call a, call, call the woman you talk to right now. Yeah, it just got real. Man, Man see, call bro. the woman you talk to right now. Call her. <sighs> yeah, call her. Put it on speakerphone. FaceTime. <laughs> Yeah, come on. You ain't got to show the screen. Just call her, though. Call her. Oh, they added her. He added her for this. <laughs> call her. Like, you added her. Call like, her. Her. You wrong. Call <laughs> her. Hey, bro, I'm going to take a second. Who that's for? <laughs> <I'm taking> call <laughs> her. <laughs> come on. Hey, get on the phone. Now, when you get on the phone, the first question you ask her, say, who was the prize? And we just gonna sit back. After she answered the question, say, okay, bye. That's it. We ain't gotta do nothing else. He trying to fry me. Nah, come on. Let's go. Yeah, trying to fry Let's see if you're a prize. Hello, I'm a car. You taking too long, dude. He texting trying to prepare. Look, he look. He trying to prepare. What? Come on, man. Get prepare on the phone and what? She ain't gonna answer. <laughs> What's she doing? I told you about to say I got a question. What? Who is the prize? Me. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's how there you, you go. Hey, <laughs> you can talk to her later. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. Say, <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> hey, got to hear the dance room right here, motherfucker. That's crazy. Hey, now watch this. Come on, Mike, your turn. Look, look, she called it back, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, can talk, so we can talk to her later. She did already got ripped on the script. She got ripped on the script. Goddamn, Mike, you going way down there, man. That's why I'm saying when you know you're a prize, you could just pick up the phone and go to the last number and just call. See, look, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. You ain't gotta do all that, bro. You just so pick up the phone, bro. So pick me. up the phone, bro. Go straight to the. Oh, you got one here going on? Yo. What you doing? You ain't on the, you on the headphones, dude. What you doing? Oh, she at work. She trying not to talk. Take Walk back, outside. Man. Oh, nah, you can't. You ain't got no action. Yo, action. Huh? Man. Hey, I got a question. Hey, who? Hey, who is the prize? Who is the prize? Oh, all right. Say it again. What the fuck? She said what? <laughs> Say it right now. Say it again. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna call you back. <laughs> Big Q, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Big Q. Hey. <laughs> <Lord. laughs> <laughs> Stop the yard on this nigga, man. I ain't gonna lie. I had to be abused. Hey, I'm talking about big Q. Play, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey look, man. Right, man. So with that being said, Nico. <laughs> She's talking about she No, nah, you can't explain <laughs> that. You can't explain that, dude. So look. I ain't gonna lie though, man. We gonna come, you know, I'm gonna come back to that, but right now, man, you know. Q's up one. <laughs> Nukes come down, on. man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm gonna do right now, man, I just wanna have uh, you know, we didn't talk about college, you know, we talked about how y'all graduated, y'all done gave advice, we didn't took shots. Now we getting a little loose. Now we going to get to talking about relationships and, you know, how you feel about relationships. So it's a question that I've been wanting to ask. And it's kind of a trending situation because right now a lot of people are getting divorces, you know, uh, niggas leaving their gals. Like, they just getting back in these streets. What does it take from that one woman for you to be faithful? What it's gonna take is for her to reciprocate the energy of her being a natural woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna do what I'm supposed to do as a man. That's being a provider. That's being a protector. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, if I'm doing all this, 
I'm gonna need you to be a nurturer because that's what a woman for is be a nurturer. Okay. Because when I'm outside, I'm stressing about different stuff like work, uh, what what I gotta do to make this make this happen for okay. this situation with this business plan. Okay. I gotta make sure she good with her business plan if she wanna do something like. Whenever I'm dealing with all that, figuring all that out, I need her to. Whenever I come home, I need her to make sure that my mental is clear, and my okay. that's like a safe haven, that's a safe spot for me. If she ain't got that, then she ain't gonna be the only one. Okay. Yeah, I heard them, ladies. Uh, you know what, little brother? I can agree with you. That cap is up one point now. I agree with that. I like that. This that was some shit right there, boy. I know what you got to say, my man. I'm capable of it. Um, for me. As long as she show me loyalty and I can trust her, honesty, she, you can mold people to become the person that you want to be with. I just feel like the same way she going to let me know what she do and don't like, I'm going to let her know what I do and don't like. And it's up to her to fix it or to adjust to it so that we can be together. But as long as she loyal and trustworthy, I can work around everything else. Loyal and trustworthy. I can work around everything else. Nah, you can be loyal to a bitch. Bitch still gonna do what she want. No, I said you, long you can, as she loyal and trustworthy. <laughs> yeah, he said as long as she loyal and trustworthy. As long as she loyal and trustworthy, yeah. how you gonna know you can trust her though? What kind of test you give? Man, I may mean, see bitches. They they gonna mess up their own self. So, they so gonna, hold on, hold on. Before you say that, can we please refer from using the word bitch? Yeah. It's sorry, ladies. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, ladies is going to... They're going to show you what they want you to see. So, we all in nightlife. Mm -hmm. For one, she already think I'm out here doing X, Y, and Z, messing with this person, messing with that person. So, she going to either want to get her lick back, show me that she not to be played with, or just simply do her own thing. Mm -hmm. In order for me... To trust her, I'm going to allow her freedom. I'm going to let her go out and do what she want to do. I'm going to let her have her fun. I'm going to let her turn up, and I want to see how she act. I want to see how she be in niggas' faces. I want to see what time she come home Come home at the end of the night. I want to see how many times her phone go off when she get to the house. I want to see if she going to try to say what I've been doing all night to get off of what she been doing all night. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to just watch, and I'm going to observe, and I'm going to... see. I'm, I want to cut you off when you say that. I understand what you're saying, but you can't be the person to observe without uh, setting standard guidelines. Mm -hmm. So, like me personally, I'm a guy to where women feel like, oh, he got this, he got that, he got this going on. Uh, you know, we talk about the uh, the the topic of tricking all that. Like me. I feel a lot different than a lot of people because I feel like I have it figured out. Mm -hmm. So to 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 get a woman to grasp my attention to make me take her serious, one thing she has to have installed in her is I am a lady before anything. Mm -hmm. I don't want a city girl. I don't want a a. a the next mulatto. I don't want, no, I don't want none of that. Like, I need, I feel like opposites are attract. So, I'm an outside nigga. I'm proud of it. I tell it to anybody I talk to, any woman I talk to, yeah, baby, so. I'm an outside nigga. Like, you know, this is how I get my money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This is how I make do shit for you. Yeah. For this, shit, is, so. this is what's going to get us to the next level. So, I feel like every woman, you have to test that woman. And how you test that woman. You have it right what you're saying. You be very observant. But you also have to give a woman guidelines like me. Women come to me every day and they feel like, oh, they talk to me for a while. We vibe. We kick it. And then they hit you with that. I want to be in a relationship. They try to lock yeah. you down. Baby, slow down. <laughs> We're not doing that. We like Too much. Like We got to go through some shit. Just because you see me, you just see me get out of a relationship. What makes you think I want to get right back in another one? I'm not ready for that. That ain't even that. You ain't even showed me like what you capable of, like yeah. ment mentally. You can bring yeah. to the table. You're not showing me nothing. You got to show me, you got to tell me what you bring to the table. Like, my thing is this I feel like a woman, 
A woman can be the key to a man's success, and she can also be the key to a man's downfall. Thanks. You can be the most successful man in the world, and a woman can come along and tear you the fuck apart because... That's a man weakness. Facts. A man weakness is a That's woman. A woman. Mm -hmm. and, and until a man realize that that's his weakness, he's going to continue to fall every time. So me, personally, what I do is I vibe out. I have a good time. I do the same thing you do. I pay attention. But see, I got a couple no-no's. I don't like an outside woman. If you go out three times a week and you're not getting paid for it, I don't respect it. Me either. If you go out three times a week and you don't get paid for it, I don't respect it. I have to repeat that because I want them to hear that. If you, if I have seen you in public with more than one nigga in the same year, I don't respect it. I don't feel like you should pop out with every, every nigga, nigga you meet. Mm -hmm. Every nigga you talk to. No. You know what I call them? I call them pop outs. Oh, she's just a little pop out. You know what I'm saying? Six and boppers. Yeah, like, no, you don't pop out. Like, even me, <coughs> if I if I feel myself taking a woman serious, the world is not going to see that woman that often. I can't show you. I don't want them to figure it out. Because once they see you happy, what they do? Try to oh, fuck it up. It. They coming for they it. That's why it. they say, ladies, understand this, because I know y'all watching right now, and I swear to God, this podcast is really for the ladies. Like, I love y'all, and I love my mama, I love my auntie, I love my sisters, I love JT, I love my baby girls. We all love women. And But one thing y'all got to know is that a man doesn't want a woman that's accessible. If he feels that you're accessible, he feels like anybody can access you. And women tend to think, oh, I ain't talked. I went out with him, but I ain't fucked that nigga. No. You might as well. <laughs> because regardless on what you said happened behind closed doors, we're going to have our personal thoughts and nah, opinion nah, about nah, you nah, already. Nah, I nah, might nah, made nah, up, baby. Nah, <laughs> if you get caught stepping out with, mm -hmm. with Mike, and Mike hit you with the good knees, baby. He hits you with the good <laughs> knees, baby. That's just what happened. Yeah, you know? So let's just keep it all the way above. And then, you know, I asked y'all about that, but I want to just switch the subject real quick, you know? Uh, so you said you are capable of being in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Ladies, we got hope. I feel like I'm capable of being in a relationship, too. I was actually in a great relationship. I always talk about my past relationship because I was happy than a motherfucker the first six months. I ain't going to lie. My first six months, it was hit. I used to get butterflies. I used to stay on the phone. Too. I used to fall asleep on the phone, like, on some real cake, middle school type yeah, of shit. Like, for real, for real. It's it just like, a nigga really want it. But, but a nigga ain't going to settle if it ain't Man, on. I feel like that woman just got to be your best friend, bro. Absolutely. Like, for real, for real. That got to be your best friend. But um, we talked about that. So I want to touch another subject. How do y'all feel about abusive relationships? Like, do y'all feel like that shit cool? What, like, how y'all feel about that? No, not at all. I feel like when it gets to the point you got to start putting your hands on each other, man, y'all need to just cut ties. Y'all just get cut, just cut ties, go. huh? Just let it go. Man, I ain't going to lie. I feel the same way, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I done been there. You know, I done had my fair share of fuck ups. I ain't gonna lie. I'm one thing about me. I'm never gonna lie to y'all folks, man. I'm not perfect. I swear to God. When y'all get on here and y'all try to bash me on social media, y'all try to put me on T pages. Y'all try to talk about. Hey, listen. Let me tell y'all something. God did not create nobody perfect. I never used the statement. I'm a real nigga. I never say that shit. I never say I'm 100 because. We all have been created with flaws. I, I know I have flaws. Thanks. I know I have flaws. And I apologize if I ever did anything wrong. I didn't make mistakes. I'm not thinking, thinking them through, like moving too fast. I didn't fucked over great women. Me too. I didn't fucked over some great women. For sure. For sure, sure. Okay, shout good. out to shout out to them great women that we all fucked over. Like, and I'm gonna apologize for these guys too, because if you're watching right now and you might want to spin the block, baby, spin. DMs open. 
DMs open. Cause nigga the DM. What boost is like? Damn, nah, anybody can DM me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> nigga didn't group from that shit space. So yeah, okay. I swear for real, for real. So y'all, like, 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 you know what's crazy though, man? To real abusive ass niggas, and I'm gonna speak on this because a lot of niggas be scared to speak on it. But I'm gonna speak on it because I can fight. I ain't gonna lie. I, I can fight. I'm nice. Uh, so if anyone, you know them abusive niggas who be beating on women and always on that shit, it's really fucked up because they grew up two ways. They grew up in a fucked up household or they just naturally cowards. They'll put their hand on a woman but won't man. fuck with a man. Like pussies. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit be crazy. Like, bruh. Nigga, you got a mama, you got a sister, you got an auntie. What what was this you can put your hand? And then not even putting your hands on a woman to like defend yourself, like stop her from be- beating your ass. You but like beating you beating up a woman like a man, like nigga, you coward. Coward ass nigga. I'll tell you one thing. Mm. You touch one of mine, it's on. It's on. <laughs> Yeah, see, around, you yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. If you could even come around with that bullshit, boy. Yeah, and that goes from any. If, if the I'm the big brother. Me, yup. I'm the, the female big female brother you didn't want to meet. Close to me, nigga. Yup. Like, touch him. But look, though, let me tell you something, though. We can't always fault the niggas because you got to fault the women, too, because these women accept this shit. Like, say this you step in for your sister, a nigga whoop your sister ass. You step in, you whoop the nigga ass, you damn near go to jail whooping this nigga ass. Back and then she go back to the nigga. Yeah, that's cool. I cut off. See, it, she it, cut off. Off. Like, she got to get cut off. Got to. Cause what now, you, what you is, doing? The thing is, like, I, like, like you say, bro, you got to just pick your battles. Like, situations like that, at the end of the day, that's all. That's my sister. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to ride for We're going to stop. Stop this shit. But if she go back, like you say, I'm cut off. But that nigga still gonna get touched. For sure. <laughs> but <laughs> still gonna get but touched. you gotta make it known is she yeah. cut off though because now she blind to the situation. She mentally dumb in the head because she keep going back to it thinking it's love. It ain't love. Yeah. yeah. He doing this for pleasure, for whatever he got going on because he can't handle it as a man. As a man, mm-hmm. you supposed to take whatever come, come your way. Yep. Facts. I take it off on your girl. Facts. But that shit crazy. Nigga different. So ladies, look, man, if you out there and you're in an abusive situation, like, and you got brothers, you got family members who done got involved and tried to help you to get you to move forward out the situation. If you don't choose to move on out the situation, man, you are not only putting people in harm, yourself in harm's way, you're putting your family and your loved ones in harm's way. Like, let's just get that overly stood. Okay, we got to understand it. All right, one more shot, man. Let's get one more shot in, man. I still got shit in y'all cup, man. Yeah, yeah, man y'all babysitting. My yeah. shit gone. This yeah. nigga over here, he, hey, look, I'm going to tell y'all something. <laughs> the reason why this nigga cup's still full, because she said, me. <laughs> she, that nigga right say, she, now he talking about she want to text and explain why. Nah, bring on the podcast and let her explain why. We going to explain in front of everybody. Why you? We why? both is. No, no, no. We both is. No, 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 baby. You already answered. You already She said me. Lie. You supposed to, your reply was supposed to say, we going to see you on Christmas. Oh, she on Christmas. Okay, so this the last segment of the show. So I gotta play this little music real quick. So right now, what's about to happen is we gonna do this little thing before we close out. I'm gonna ask you a question, and you literally have 30 seconds to respond to the question. Like, not no, um, thinking about it, um. <laughs> Bro, what situation? Like, yeah. we gonna get right into it, and I need an answer. Right. I need an answer. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and forth. Y'all will not get the same question. Cool. Okay. Y'all ready? Let's start this off. Let's take a shot. Let's. Come on, nigga. You said it putting your cup down. You you, you on antibiotics? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, baby. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Let's go. Hey, this is funny, though. Yeah, I'm just I saying. Let's answer. Let's focus. <laughs> you don't need that. Mind, mind. Mind. <laughs> Mike, you want, you want to go first? I'm going to start with you. Okay. All right, Mike. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go. Let's get right into this. Hmm. So, I asked this question when I was on the yard. If you were in a relationship, would you rather go to prison for two years or watch your best friend fuck your girl? Man, I'm gonna have to look at that. I'm gonna have to watch him. You gotta watch? I'm gonna have to watch him. All you want to do is pop a perk and get a pussy beat. I ain't going to lie. What if the, no, no homo, what that nigga dick bigger than yours? He got your bitch Man. up in there hollering. Man. It is what it is, got there. Man, it is what it is. I ain't, I ain't going to that motherfucker. They ain't going to that motherfucker. They ain't going to that motherfucker. They ain't going to that They ain't going to that motherfucker. All right, nah, so. I'll them for 30 minutes. So, Nico, let me ask you a question. What would you prefer a woman <laughs> Come on, man. You ready to laugh out, man? How you messing up my questions, dude? <laughs> Come on, man. Nico! On, King bro. Nico, let me ask you a question. So, would you rather a woman suck your toes or eat your ass? She can put, suck my toes out there. Have you ever let a woman eat your ass? Man, I don't, you ain't going that far. She, how far can she go? She can go to Gooch, that's it. Get up under them balls. <laughs> you gonna let her get up under there? Under them balls. I ain't gonna lie. What if she got that Gooch and she waggle that nah. motherfucker? Then she swipe <laughs> on that bitch. It's over it. <laughs> she swipe that motherfucker. She swipe that motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. No, nah, man. Mike. You letting a woman suck the Gooch, Mike? She can leave that bitch. Check it like that bitch. Mm-hmm. Where she she tapped that ass while she died. Yeah. These motherfuckers. You gonna tighten up? You gonna tighten up? Neck might break. I'm gonna lock these motherfuckers. Hey, bitch, get up. Okay. Come on, get up, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's over with. I don't would even wanna ever, fuck no more. Would, would you ever consider having a, a threesome with two dykes? Man. They got some fine ass dykes these days. They got straps though. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. He took that now. Nah, look. No. Nah. Okay. <laughs> he should have threw that in the first time. <laughs> nah, nigga, if a nah. nigga say dykes, yeah. you know she come no, strapped see, well. The between dykes and them bull daggers. See, them bull daggers are the ones with them fucking straps. What is a dyke? What's a dyke and what's a bull dagger? A dyke is a bull dagger. Nah, see, I, I know some just... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't even know what the fuck a bull dagger is. I ain't even heard that before. See, dykes is just... Hey, I got a question. Huh? Is it a difference between a dyke and a bull dagger? Uh, yeah. What's the definition? What is the definition of a dyke? I'm live on my podcast right now, just to let you know. Okay, um, a dyke is somebody that just acts like... A boy, but I feel like a bulldagger is somebody that really, really want to be a nigga, right? Yeah. Right? All right, so you just said you know some fine dykes. Some girls that just want to be, they just dress like niggas. They just want to be boys. Yeah. But ain't that a stud? That's a stud, bro. Like a stud and a dyke. But a bulldagger is a different, a tom. Tom boy. That's what they call, they call that studs, no tom, right? Boy. That's what a hey. dyke is. But a bulldagger is a, is a, is a, is a bitch that she really want to be you a say, nigga. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What you say? So what's a dyke? What a dyke do? A dyke, I mean, a dyke, they act like a boy too, but they not in too deep with it. Like, so what's a stud? They got some dykes. What's a dyke? Uh, it's really no difference. Thank it's you. no difference. It's no different. Yeah. It's no bro, different. Like she just said, you got... Like, bulldog is just an old term. Yeah, that's an old term, bro. Right. So you just I'm said... I'm low. So I just asked this nigga, I just asked this nigga on the show, I said... Would you, I said, would you sleep, would you have a threesome with two dykes? And he said, they got some fine dykes out here. So they just, I say, he, I say they come with straps. They gonna right. knock you yeah, off. Dykes come with no. straps. No. They yeah, gonna gun you down. That's like a stud or a stem. But having sex with a dyke is crazy. 
<laughs> so that's the difference. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 that's the difference. I know it's the difference, I, yeah. <laughs> I know it's the difference, goddamn me. Yeah, you basically said you're not sex with a nigga. You basically said you nah, you let a nigga knock you out. Nah, that's over with. All right, that's a bet. Thank you. That shit funny. We recording still? Okay. Uh, yeah, so. Basically, for the records, Mike, man, you will let a nigga, you will man. let two dyke hoes gun you down. No. Nah. You just said you like two it's fine. You know fine dykes. It's over with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. It's over with. Wow. Okay. Okay, on to the next. Nico. What up? Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Right now, are you single? Mm-hmm. Very. Very? Mm-hmm. Like, very, very? I'm single, bro. Like, no, I'm saying, like, how single? Like, like single, like? I'm single, bro. Okay. <laughs> DM's open? DM's been open. Okay. Okay. Now I want to ask you this question since you're single. Mm-hmm. Do you prefer having sex with a condom or no condom? Mm. You got to be honest. Mm, no rub. No rub. When the last time you caught an STD? Mm. You going to be honest? <laughs> 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 Nigga, nigga, dick itch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got the sweat and this shit. He ain't even drunk his shot. Woo! They get back a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he drunk that bitch out. I call you. Wanna, you want to pass to the next question? Mm-hmm. You want to move on? That's what you fucking do. Do you like anal? Do I like what? <laughs> <laughs> what he said? What's that boy said? <laughs> no, like, I. Wait, wait, no, what you asked? No, hold on, hold on. That didn't come out right. Let me fix it. <laughs> do you like anal? Like, do you like. I uh, ain't never uh, fucked a bitch in the ass. You ain't never hit nobody in the ass? Mm-mm. Only thing I did was put my tongue in the bitch ass and my thumb. That's you it. put your tongue in the bitch ass? Yeah. Right on. Right on. So, you ain't answering the question, though. No. No? Okay. Mike. <laughs> Anal? What about it? Do you fuck Please. women in the ass? Yeah, I have. With Lou? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she quick little spit start. She but she be good. Mm-hmm. But you know, bro, them, them freaks they like that shit. So, do you prefer to hit a woman in in the ass or a pussy? Nah, I ain't no pussy. See, I'll be on when you put your thumb in there, and she get to liking that shit. You know, you play around up in the every now and then. Just the pin on the dookie shoot. The- <laughs> <laughs> so when you when you wear ain't no dude be like shit on your shit. Nah, see most see. A woman that actually do it, she gonna make sure she good before she let you just slide in that bitch. Like the ones who was nervous about it, it was like, oh no. Like even when you put your thumb in her ass, if she ain't comfortable with the that bitch coming out clean, you know she'll clench and be like, oh no. He so can't say like, that he's he putting his tongue he in. He put a whole shit. tongue in the bitch right. ass. I do too. I'm different. I'm, yeah, I'm special <laughs> and I'm kind of thrown off. I do fucked up shit. I'm a grown man. I'm nasty. I'm just yeah, saying, nasty. ladies, listen. I'm very oh, experienced. Know. That's what I like to tend to say. Mm-hmm. That's the word. You eat ass? That's the word. Do you eat ass? Yeah. Hell yeah. You see what them niggas do when they hopping? <laughs> they picking hoes up. Oh yeah, see they, they parties. They, they they be on the yard with it. I ain't on the yard with it. I, nah, I can't do that. Uh, but yeah, next question: Do you feel like a woman rather enjoys more you eating her ass or you eating her pussy? Shit, when I'm eating the pussy, and I feel a shake, and I go to the ass, then I come back up. That bitch squirt. 
You like squirters? I like squirters. I don't like them pissy ass. But I mean, I, excuse my life. Y'all don't be pissy in my bed. I don't like those squirters. I hate them. I ain't gonna lie. I had a squirter, and her shit was fire. Top fucking three ever in my life. But she pissed in my bed so bad with that squirt. That's piss. I know. She <laughs> had my sheets. No, nigga. No, nigga. Listen, her shit was so good. But she fucked up my bed so bad. Listen, my, what's that thing called? My mattress needed to go to the dry cleaners. I'm talking about she went through the sheet. I had a towel. I had to put a sheet on top. So I put a sheet on top because she pre kind of warned me. I put a sheet on top, had my comforter. she, She went through every last one of them holes. Oh, yeah. But let me ask you this: Was that the bit one of the best? She was the top three. But <laughs> not you know two. what? After that day, top three. And after not that two. day, bro. After that day, bro. What? I ain't no f- no. Nah. Ah. I, I cut off. Ah. I cut off. Some nigga just proposed to her and everything. And I seen it on Instagram. I like this. I said, "Congratulations." I said, "Boy, y'all gonna have y'all gonna need a lot of sheets, cause boy, when she go, she lets it go." Waterfall. You like squirters. Oh Damn. man. You different. You like squirters. Nah, I don't fuck with them. You don't like squirters? So would you prefer a cream or a squirter? Cream cream. cream all day. Cream. Cream all day. Team cream. <laughs> that's hey, you know that's a noob saying. What? Team cream team? Cream team? Yeah. Cream team. I'm down with cream team. What you smacking team for? You set tripping over here? Look. <laughs> like all right, let, let me finish with my questions, though, dude. I'm back to you. Let me get on your ass. Hmm. How long do you think good sex should take? Shit, I got about 30 minutes, max. 30 minutes? 30 minutes is a good long time. That, that's about all I got. Okay. Nico. What? How long do you think it should take to nut in good pussy? To nut in good pussy? Mm-hmm. A good 10, 15 minutes. Maybe. Not even 15, 10 minutes. I done had boy say. Psst. <laughs> <laughs> he want to say something. He on camera. He don't want to go that bad. Ten. Man, hey, ten. listen, man. Ten. So you said, so you said you ain't know. Oh, my mama, 10. It took me, I promise you. You done got, you done, play, you done got laid. You done got knocked off off one song. Four play. Bro. Nah, one song. You done got knocked off before. Do you see yourself married in the next five years? No. How old are you? 33. Damn, Damn nigga. What you gonna be doing? Still fucking? Hoeing. <laughs> My nigga say you he asked, a You asked, do I see myself married in this, the life I'm living right now? No. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Not at all. That's crazy. You from Houston, all right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You have a girlfriend? No. You know you single? Yeah. Very single? Very. You've been single for a while. I'm just the prize. You who? I'm the prize. And you just you realize it? Yeah. I Ladies. Feel that. Y'all slide down on Brother Man Mike. <laughs> y'all slide down. Yeah, and if y'all got some stories y'all want to tell me about Brother Man Mike, slide in my DMs. I, I'll post them on my store. Nigga, bark. <laughs> bark yeah. in the pussy. <laughs> Last question. We're going to end this segment with this question. This was a great podcast. Y'all did a great job. Y'all were naturals. Y'all kept it 100. Now, this is the question I want y'all to answer. What do you think is an honest amount of women for a guy to have sex with in a year? An honest amount? With the life we live and shit. No. I ask that question to me because you're not gonna put me in that blender. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting in that blender. I'm not getting in that blender with you. This is your answer. Let's start. <laughs> no. So I want to ask you one last question. So this last question is gonna be: What do you feel like an honest number of women? 
a man should sleep with in a year. In the age of 25, 21 through 35. 21 through 35? That's going to be high. 21 through 35. Because you hit your prime at 25. 21, you getting to it, so. I ain't, I don't think I hit my prime so I was 30, bro. For real? I'm, I'm being real. Like, I'm going to tell you, like, my, like, <laughs> I went down for a little bit, but my sex drive is so crazy now. Like, I'm him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, man. So, 31? 21 and 31? 10 years? No, ago? 21 and 35. Oh, 21 and 35. What do you think he should average a year? Shit, a year. You can probably average like 20. I ain't going to lie. 30, 20, 30. 20? 20, 30. No, so I'm what say do you 30. feel like the average person averages a year? The average nigga. I know some niggas who ain't hitting no ass in a minute. Them niggas probably average like. Shout out, Josh. Shout out, Josh. I would say the average nigga in a year probably, probably hit like. Six, five, bro. Five to ten. Really, five. Five good six. Yeah. He going to keep that around. Huh? Yeah. Five to six. Yeah. For real, for real. Man, shout out to them niggas who only hit Josh. <laughs> <laughs> bro. This nigga funny. This nigga so you say about 20 years? Yeah. Nah, I'm going to say, all right, look, keep it, keep it fair. I'm going to say 25, 30 if you're in this life. Huh? 25, 20, 30. A for year? Real? For shit, so. Do you think, like, no, bro, it's like niggas out there who's not yeah. hitting that a year. I know for it's sure. niggas hitting that a year, but I'm saying niggas you ask that, me. Don't yeah. that for okay. my life from 21 okay. to okay. 35, I'm okay. telling you, 20, yes, for sure, 25 to 30. So, so how many are you hitting a year? <laughs> Last year, let me think about it. Last year, <laughs> last year was wicked. I ain't going to lie. I probably hit like two. 200? <laughs> 285! Oh my god! 285! Oh, you said two? Yeah. Two what? I hit two, brother. 2000? Yeah. 2000? No. No, I don't know 2000, dude. Wait, I'm trying. Wait, you said two? Yeah, like two. Last shit was what? Nah, I'm counting. <laughs> 2021. It was two. 2021 was two. 2022, I was single. That's when I had just got over a heartbreak, so. Man, stop doing that, bro. Hey, dude. 2022, for real, for real. That's when it went up. 2021, I was in a relationship. No cap. So in your relationship, how many times did you cheat? One time. But we wasn't, we was on some shit. Like, it was like a taking a break. Then I hit somebody else. And... She wasn't fucking with that shit because she told me, like, how can you fuck somebody else and I ain't fucking nobody else just because we're on a break? But it was just one girl. So I, I guess I'm counted as cheating in a sense, but it ain't cheating. Hey, look, just for the records, for people, this is my personal partner. He's lying through his fucking teeth right now. Bro, I'm not lying. <laughs> and we're not going to even. 2021? Man, 2020. When did you officially become a good fella? 2022, brother. When we had the meeting. That was 2022? Yes, yeah, that was nigga. That was last I year. thought that was 2021. No, no that, was 22. that was 22, brother. I ain't no cap. That's why I said 2022. Yeah, they weren't around in 21. We broke up. It was internet. <laughs> okay, okay. It's another good episode of Standing On Principles. I got my brothers with me. Man, I appreciate y'all for coming through, man. We didn't got lit. We didn't have fun. We didn't laugh. We didn't talk about some real shit. We didn't said a bunch of good things, bad things, weird, strange things. But, you know, at the end of the day, we just having fun, man. <laughs> Shout out to Goodfella TV Hello. 5. Like this bitch, y'all. Hey, man. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. My brother's here, man. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we out.